Uh, following up with, I know some of you hate us talking about wrestling, so we're going to try to keep this quick. But what are your thoughts on the big WWE heels getting face pops from the crowd in parentheses? Why Cesaro, etc.? It... That was from CWR2. Uh, Chris Roberts. Um, it's not good if you want to build a true storyline and make money. Right. Uh, it's not good. Um, just because you need true faces and true heels in the battle of good versus evil to get fans, you know, riled up. That's how the wrestling and entertainment business works. You know, you don't you don't see tweeners in movies for the most part. You don't see guys that you know, they're halfway good and halfway bad because no one cares. You have to pick a side. So the problem though with here with someone like the Wyatt family is that they are def- definitely heels in how they're portrayed on camera because they always triple team and the guy's evil and he's saying, you know, he's a cult leader. Come follow me. You're all sheep. You know, the problem with it right now though, that is they're putting him against John Cena and to a lot of the fans and the smarks, they don't like John, John Cena. Cena. Right. So they're automatically going to root for Bray Wyatt. So I don't see that. That's not a, to me, that's not a booking issue. That's just how I guess the fans are perceiving it. Well, no, that's to me, that is a booking issue because you don't, if you, Look, I love the Wyatts and I love Cesaro, okay? And they're getting pops because they're good fucking wrestlers. Cesaro's a different beast, though. Well, I'll it it is, it is. But um, I do see that as a booking issue because you need... If you want the Wyatts, if you want Bray Wyatt to be taken as a heel, you have to put him against someone that people actually fucking care about. Uh, as a face, you mean, yes. overall. But but here's the thing, though, is that they're never going to book John Cena as a heel, though. They're never going to do it. I'm not saying they are. What I'm saying is they need a different face. I'm not saying book... Bray Bray is a is a he- I'm I not just... saying Bray book Bray is a face. I'm saying Bray will become a heel if you put him up against someone who that's... is who is universally a face. That's the problem. There's no one. It's very it's well. Very I know thin. there there isn't. The roster is thin when yeah. it comes to like the big faces. There the, really is no one. This is kind of the problem that's happened with this smart mark thing. That, that I mean, I mean, it was taking off in the late '90s, and now it's really taken off. It's really hard to genuinely write a heel face storyline. I think and have it mean something to some extent. But here's a problem though with someone like Cesaro that in terms of pure wrestling and he's just outstanding yeah, yeah he's probably great. the strongest guy pound for pound it could be just the strongest guy period wrestling right now um is that they booked him as a face uh he he left he left the real americans with yeah. the heel stable jack swagger is a heel jack swagger hasn't been a face for like five six years so he's not even ambiguous in what he is so he leaves this uh the stable he wins cleanly a battle royal at WrestleMania by lifting up the Big Show, dragging him four feet and tossing him again clearly, and then shakes his hand afterwards, which is what heels do when they turn face. Right. They shake hands, and so he's a face by my perspective. So then what do they do the next night on, next night on Raw? Is that they give him Paul Heyman, who's the biggest heel manager. Right. So that's it. Doesn't that's, make any sense. That's bad booking in a different sense. Yeah, that's terrible booking. Yeah, it's awful. because now then, you don't know what you're supposed to do. Even yeah. even if I'm just talking about as a casual fan, you don't sure. know what to do. Yeah, because Heyman is Heyman's great from a smart perspective, but he's hated. He's been hated ever since he he basically helped turn that. He's what they used to turn CM Punk heel in mid 2012. They used him because mm-hmm. even when Cena turned on on, uh, excuse me, even when CM Punk turned on The Rock that summer in 2012. Fans were still cheering CM Punk. It took Paul Heyman to really turn CM Punk heel to the majority of fans. And so again, you you can't you can't book face face for face then heel and, and expect the fans to know what the hell's going on with them right. in their heads. It doesn't make any sense. And even Cesaro wrestling, he's not doing he's not using any heel tactics. He's not fighting dirty. He's not cheating. And I'm sorry, that's what heels do. Right. Mr. Perfect was a, a great wrestler, but he, and guys like Flair, but they still did heel tactics in the ring. Yeah, that's for, what you need. For a good off the wall, or off the top of my head comparison, you know, when Rock turned heel the second time, everyone fucking loved him. But you know, he still wrestled as a heel. He still gave you a reason to root for the good guy, even yes. though everyone loved him. He may have been getting cheers, but in ring or in storyline, there was still a clear-cut heel and a in a, in a clear cut face. Yes, uh, there isn't that. You have to run down the crowd if you, if you're a heel, you just have to. Yeah, you have to use either if you're not if you're not using at least some dirty tactics, you have to at least act cowardly in some way. Right. Doesn't mean you're gonna run away when the shit hits a fan, but you have to at least 
egg the crowd on by you know leaving the ring or saying you know I got enough of this. You know what I mean? You have to do these sort of. Rock was a great heel because he knew how to be a great heel right. when he was, and he did get the crowd booing him. Like when Goldberg came back, the crowd was really booing the Rock. Even though by that point, I loved that was my Hollywood Rock's my favorite iteration of the Rock. Sure, I, absolutely fair. I thought it was brilliant how he played it off. Overly cocky with the guitar. the guitar. But anyway, the whole point is that you have to know how to book. Uh, if you want to maximize the attention for a feud and to make money, this is me, just my my semi expertise on wrestling, having been watching it for a huge amount of time. You have to book heels versus faces, and tweeners don't exist for the most part. So 